students now we have r is equal to integral e power minus ax sin bx dx now we have to integrate this using integration by parts we are going to integrate this by integration by parts now when i see this what i have to do is i should consider this as u and i should consider this as dv okay what i should consider i should consider this as u and i should consider this as dv i have a formula integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du now here my u is e power minus ax i need du so du by dx is equal to minus a into e power minus ax so now du is equal to minus a into e power minus ax dx this is my u this is my du okay now we come for d dv is equal to sin bx dx i need v so what i have to do i have to integrate on both sides so when i go for integrating v is equal to integral of sin bx is minus cos bx again my when i integrate this i will get this okay so my v is equal to minus cos b x by b okay now i know or u i have du i have dv i have v i have so now i have to substitute in this formula so this is equal to u v this is u dv so now i go for u v what is my u e power minus ax what is my v minus cos bx by b okay now this part is this u v next i am coming for this part minus integral of what is my v minus cos bx by b what is my du minus a into e power minus ax into dx this is my du okay this is my du okay so this is what is this this is u this is u this is v again this is v and this is du okay clear now we go simplifying this what i get here minus e power minus ax by b into cos bx this term it is over minus this term take out all the constant terms minus into minus plus plus into minus minus so i have minus here okay va let me take these constant terms outside a by b integral e power minus ax into cos bx dx 
Okay, so what you are getting? This you have simplified here minus into plus mi minus into minus plus plus into minus minus taking out the constant terms and the constant terms will be added the wrong. So you have a by b. Okay, put in the e power minus a x cos b x. You are writing like this. Okay, then now this it will remain as such. So you need not touch this at all. This is over. This part is over. You need not touch this part. Okay. Now we are coming for this part. Again, this is integration by parts. Again, this is integration by parts. So this you have to consider as u. This you have to consider as dv. Okay. So this is again inter first. You will integrate by parts u b v. You have got this result. Again, this you have to integrate by parts. So this is u and this is d v. Now when I come for this is u and this is d v. Now I go for another result. Is it not so? So now let me come here. Here integral u d v is equal to u v minus integral v d u okay now my u is e power minus a x so d u by d x is equal to minus a into e power minus a x so d u is equal to minus a into e power minus a x d x okay now we have found d u here for this then what is my dv here? dv is equal to cos dv is equal to cos bx dx. So you have to integrate. v is equal to integral of cos bx is sin bx. Sin bx by b. Okay. So now you have u. You have du, you have v and you have dv also. Okay, now you have to apply the formula for this. You have to apply the formula for this. We will see what we are getting. Okay. What is that you are getting? Minus E by B into cos Bx. So and also this is the term which I am getting before. Now what I am getting is what I have to do now is I have to integrate the remaining terms. Minus A by B I am taking outside. We have to substitute this u v minus integral v du. So what is my u now? E power minus a x into what is my v? Sin v x by b. Okay. Then minus integral v du. So integral what is my v? Sin bx by b u dv i mean u v minus v du is this one minus a into e power minus ax dx okay so this is u v minus integral v du Okay, this uv minus integral v du. Okay, now what we are going to get? We are going to simplify. So here I have b commonly outside. So I am taking as first in the step. e power minus ax by b dot cos bx minus a by this b also I am taking outside. b square a by b square into 
e power minus ax sin bx minus only b i have taken outside i have a here minus into minus minus into minus plus what is that i have a into e power minus ax sin bx okay minus into minus plus a into e power minus ax sin bx integral dx integral dx okay now this is actually this part when i come across this part this part is my question this part is my question i have got my question itself now when i go for simplifying further this part i will be having as such e power minus ax by b into cos bx take all these inside minus a into e power minus ax sin bx by b square okay minus a square by b square into e power minus ax sin bx dx integral okay so this is my question this is my question so now when i come here i have I have to multiply and divide by b here so that I will get b square here also. I will get b square here also. What we will be getting here? This is equal to b square is common all over. Moreover, this is my i. This is my i okay so now what is that here here i have i is equal to minus e power minus ax into b by b square cos bx then again here minus a by b square into e power minus ax sin bx minus a square by b square i minus a square by b square i okay now i am combining the i terms i plus a square by b square i is equal to take this minus sign outside 1 by b square outside e power minus ax outside so what you will be getting b cos bx plus a sin bx b cos bx plus a sin bx now i am taking the lcm what i will be getting is i into a square plus b square by b square is equal to minus 1 by b square into e power minus ax into b cos bx plus a sin bx my b square b square will get cancelled now i have i is equal to e power minus ax divided by a square plus b square into b cos bx plus a sin bx minus that's all the rest so you have to remember only one formula what is that is integral u dv is equal to uv minus integral v du this is the one formula 
which you remember to go with this problem. Okay?